So Vasily Lomachenko versus George Kambosos has been set for May 11th in Australia for the vacant IBF title at 135. Here's my thoughts on this bout and a little preview of this fight as well. Now, this is the fight that we all expected to happen. It was actually supposed to happen quite a while ago, way back when Devin Haney ended up taking Vasily Lomachenko's spot and fighting George Kambosos. It was supposed to be Loma versus George for three of the four titles. However, it fell through due to the war, etc., whatever. The fight's happening now. It's a completely different fight than it was back then. I still am picking the same man to win as I was back then, but the fight is completely different. Neither fighter is holding a belt. It's for one title. It's going to be vacant. Both fighters have lost to Devin Haney since then. George losing clearly twice, getting dominated, blooded up, and battered in the rematch, and outclassed and just outskilled in the first fight. With, and Vasily Lomachenko, in my opinion, deserving a victory over Devin Haney. It was a very close fight, but I felt Loma definitely deserved to win seven rounds to five. Best case scenario I could have seen was a draw for Devin. I felt anything other than that was a little a little too biased in Devin's favor. I'm not saying it's impossible to find seven rounds Devin won, but it is a stretch in my opinion. Now, when it comes to this bout, when, when it comes to this matchup, a lot of people are criticizing Lomachenko for taking on George Cambosos. A lot of people are saying this is not the fight that should be made. In this weight class at 135 that it should be Loma versus Shakur Stevenson now I don't have an issue with that bout Loma and Shakur I think it's actually a really good matchup and a really good fight that I would love to see however I feel that with Vasil Lomachenko coming off a loss to Devin Haney even with me feeling that he won and most people feeling that he won that bout it doesn't really make too much sense for him to come off a loss and take on Shakur Stevenson let's get Loma in the win column, because I'm going to spoil it right now. I was going to wait a little longer, but I'm going to spoil it right now. I am picking Vasily Lomachenko to defeat George Kambosos, probably by a wide decision. I don't think he's going to stop George. I think he'll probably win a, a comfortable decision, but he might stop George in the later rounds. Who knows? Let him get back in the win column. Let him get some momentum to his name. Yes, he has momentum to his name when it comes to the whole Devin Haney fiasco, but I would like to see Loma actually come off a victory and have true momentum behind him. Let him get this victory. Let him come back get a nice little bounce back, and let him actually unify with Shakur Stevenson, the WBO and IBF titles. I feel that would be really entertaining and really fun to see. Let's get a unification between Vasily Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson. I feel it would be very entertaining and very enjoyable. George Cambosos is in the way of that, and who knows, maybe George can pull off an upset victory, but I just don't see it happening. I am picking Vasily Lomachenko to win this fight. Now, I don't have an issue with this fight, and I don't really see why so many people do have an issue with it. Loma is coming off a loss, and George Cambosos is a former unified champion who's technically coming off of a victory, even though I felt he lost to Maxi Hughes, just like everyone else felt he lost that bout. Technically, he's coming off of a win. He was a former unified champion. He beat the man who beat Vasily Lomachenko in Teofimo Lopez. He has a very big victory. He was, a, he was honestly pound for pound, the fringe pound for pound top 10 at one point of his career. He's a very solid name. Yes, Devin Haney dominated him twice. We, we understand that point, but he's still a good fighter. Vasily Lomachenko is not cherry picking or fighting any random or, or mediocre fighter. He's not fighting anyone that isn't high level. I mean, George Cambosos has proven a lot more than Edwin De Los Santos did, and not many people had too much of an issue with Shakur fighting De Los Santos. And I know a lot of people are going to mention that Shakur only fought De Los Santos because Vasily Lomachenko wasn't available. That's not the point, even though that is correct. That's not necessarily the point of why the Cambosos fight is a good matchup for Loma. It doesn't have to do with the fact that Shakur and Loma, Loma ducking Shakur or Shakur having a fight with De Los Santos. I don't really find that an issue. A lot of people are claiming he's ducking Shakur. There's no way he's ducking Shakur Stevenson, guys. He's faced so many elite fighters throughout his career. He continues to take on top opposition. And I'm very confident that he will fight Shakur Stevenson next. But George Cambosos, people are acting like he's some pushover opponent. People are acting like that he's not a high-level fighter. Yes, I feel... He will likely be a one-hit wonder. I don't see him getting another big victory like he did against Teofimo Lopez for the rest of his career. There's a good chance he even fought Lopez at the perfect time with Lopez being dehydrated, etc. And with Lopez coming out of the hospital and all this stuff going on with Teofimo Lopez, he still was able to squeak out a win, barely get the job done. When it's all said and done, yes, he may end up being a one-hit wonder, but that's still a solid fighter in Cambosos. It's a good name for Loma to take on. It's not a great fight. It's not going to put him back on my pound-for-pound -pound list. Loma defeats George Cambosos. He's not going to be in my top 10 list either way, but I don't have an issue with this fight happening. I'm glad it's happening next. I wish it was sooner. I don't know why it's all the way in May. We're barely in January. It's January the 14th today. This fight got set for May 11th. The latest this fight should have been set for was April. I don't know why they're pushing this fight so far back. This fight could have easily ha happened in March, 
I mean, it's not that type of fight that needs a long buildup and a long anticipation. It's a fight that could easily be happening now, or happening very soon. I don't understand why they push it all the way to May. It doesn't matter. I'm still looking forward to it. It's going to be a solid match. Loma is going to win very comfortably, but I do think this is a decent name for him. It's not a great name. It's not a name I'm going to give him a bunch of credit for beating. I'm not going to say, oh my goodness, Vasil Lomachenko beat George Kambosos. I mean, it doesn't mean that much, right? A George Kambosos victory does not elevate Lomachenko's career or his resume that much. It's a nice win. I do think he deserves credit for it the same way that Devin Haney has credit for his Kambosos wins. I understand that Kambosos had three of the four titles the first time around, but that second time he fought George, George is coming off the first loss. And it didn't really mean too much, but he still gets credit for that win. And he gets credit by me for that win as well. So we should give Loma some credit for this George Cambosos win that he's going to get unless he gets caught or George has the perfect game plan, which I don't see happening. Loma's going to win this fight. I'm very confident in it. I still think it's a nice matchup. When you look at the preview, when you look at the tail of the tape, Vasil Lomachenko, multiple weight champion, former unified champion. He's attempting to become, what, three-time champion in his career? or three-time champion at 135. I don't know the exact stat, but he's become he's attempting to become a champion once again. He's been a champion multiple times. Actually, I'm incorrect. After he lost to Teofimo Lopez, I believe he never won a belt since then. This is his first time getting a belt back, which will be nice to see. In my opinion, he should have been undisputed. That actually breaks my heart a little bit that Vasil Lomachenko has never been an undisputed champion because I felt he deserved it, and that would have been such a great accolade for him. It actually hurts the more I think about it. Loma really should have been an undisputed champion. It's a real shame that he wasn't, but what can you do? He's at least going to still retire in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. He's still going to accomplish a lot in the sport, but it is a little heartbreaking that Loma never became an undisputed champion because I do feel he did deserve it. However, he's still building a great legacy for himself. Maybe he'll attempt to go undisputed one more time. I can't see that happening at 135 now because even if he beats George, even if he beats Shakur, which is a massive if, I'd probably still favor Shakur even though he looked terrible in his last fight. Even if he can somehow get both wins and become a unified champion, the tank fight I don't think is going to happen. I would love to see it happen. It's a fight that's, what, six years overdue? It's a fight that should have happened years ago. Four years overdue, whatever. It's meant multiple years overdue. The tank fight I don't see happening. If it does, that's really not the most winnable fight for Loma at this point. A couple years ago, Loma would have won straight up. No doubt about it. 2019, when everyone wanted to see the fight, Loma would have beaten Gervonta Davis. I want everyone to know that. Tank was not as good of a fighter then as he is now, and Loma was better then than he is now. 2019, Loma would have won that fight, but if the fight happens now, which I don't even think the fight would happen, which is the bigger problem, I don't even think the fight would end up happening. But if it did happen, I'm not sure Loma would would end up getting the victory or the job done in that bout. And just overall, I feel going undisputed at his age, what is he, 34, 35 years old now? I believe he's 35, going to be 36 soon. For a guy like Loma to make one last run and win four titles in his career, I feel it's very unlikely and unrealistic. I feel the best case scenario, he beats George and he beats Shakur and then he retires, he calls it a day. But as I said, I'm not sure he would beat Shakur Stevenson. I think there's even a chance that he just retires after beating George, but I think that would be pretty idiotic. What Loma needs to do, he needs to fight George and then fight Shakur, depending on the Shakur outcome, that determines if he retires or not. If he loses to Shakur Stevenson, I would like to see Loma have one last fight in the Garden, in MSG, end his career on a bang, in front of his fans. He's fought there multiple times. I would say, oh man, I would say fight in Ukraine, but obviously that cannot happen, at least in any reasonable time period. So fight in MSG one last time, end it with a bang, end it with a splash. If he beats Shakur Stevenson, retire and end on a high note. That would be such a great way to end your career. Imagine Vasil Lomachenko beating Shakur Stevenson and retiring. I mean, that would solidify himself because some people still don't have him in their Hall of Fame. They don't think he deserves to make the Hall of Fame. There's a lot of people that still don't think that. I genuinely feel he does it. He does deserve to make the Hall of Fame, but it is still up for grabs. And I feel that this last little run he can make in his career will solidify it. I'm going to say this straight up. He had probably one of his best performances of, in recent years in his career when he fought Devin Haney. I mean, he looked way worse against Jermaine Ortiz. He looked way worse against Teofimo Lopez. He had a nice, a really nice showing against Devin, no matter how you thought he looked. And I honestly think his performance against Devin Haney is so underrated because we saw what Devin did to Regis in his literal next fight. He shut him out, beat him 120 to 107. The same Regis that was a consensus top two guy at 140. He moved up, beat a consensus top two guy at 140, swept him, beat him 120 to 107. So when you look at that fact, and you look at the fact that Loma arguably, or at least in my mind, deserved the victory over Devin Haney, Loma has a lot left in the tank, guys, and I hope he comes back with vengeance. I hope he comes back determined. I hope it's not just Lomachenko, the same way Triple G came back after the Canelo fights, where Triple G, I know he was older than Loma is now, and 
keep in mind Triple G is my favorite fighter of all time. So I'm, I'm saying this from a perspective of a fan, right? Triple G came back from that Canelo loss. He didn't come back with much vengeance, did he? He beat Steve Rolls. He edged out Dervinchenko, one of the closest fights I've seen, a fight that he was supposed to win pretty clearly. He had that really good victory against Ryota Murata, which I feel was probably the last. I honestly think that was a great performance from Triple G, one of the best performances he's shown in a while. I honestly would have wished I honestly wish he retired after the Murata win, to be honest. And then he had the Canelo fight where whatever. No one talks about that third Canelo fight because it really it really didn't even technically happen if we're looking at it. It's just neither fighter was themselves. It was a terrible fight. Triple G barely lost. He almost ended up beating Canelo, which is, in my opinion, probably the funniest part of it all. But I hope Loma doesn't come back like that. I want to see Loma come back with vengeance, with determination, kind of the way he came back after he lost to Teofimo Lopez. He came back, demolished Nakatani, made a statement, uh, outclassed Richard Comey, won a very comfortable decision, and then arguably beat Devin Haney. I mean, the Jermaine Ortiz fight was a terrible outing from him, but I think Jermaine Ortiz is better than we think, and I see him giving Teofimo a really tough fight as well. So I'll make more video... I'll probably make a video on that as well sometime down the line. But that's my thoughts. Tell me down in the comment section below. Teofim, Vasil Lomachenko versus George Kambosos. It's finally happening. Let me know your prediction. Let me know your thoughts. Who are you picking and how do you see it playing out? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. I'm just checking one thing. <laughs> Have a good one. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.